congratulations on the purchase of your new Raiden RXI F1. This video is dedicated to teaching the calibration settings you need in order to achieve the perfect scratch. A few things that you'll need to know in order to adjust these settings. First, the location of the calibrate button, which is here on the left side of the fader. Now throughout all of these adjustments, you'll be holding down that calibrate button and once you release the button, it'll save your adjustment. Second is the position points of the fader. So all the way to the left, we have point A. Here in the center, we have point B. And all the way to the right, we have point C. And by factory default, the RXI F1 is set up with the traditional fader layout. So when your fader is all the way to the right, input one or your left deck will be closed. And when the fader is all the way to the left, input two or your right deck will be closed. So throughout the video, I'm gonna be sending in a test tone to help us recognize when the fader is open and closed. Here's an example. So the first and probably the most vital setting that you will need to remember is the reverse setting. So if you or someone you are cutting with prefers a reverse or a hamster style setup, here's how you achieve that. Like I mentioned earlier, this is set in the traditional layout. So if we want to flip that, this is what you need to do. So starting at point B, we're going to hold the calibrate button down and travel down to A, back to B, and back to A again. Release the calibrate button to save. And now we have a reversed fader. Now to get it back to the factory setting, we're pretty much going to do that in reverse. So starting at point B, we're going to hold the calibrate button down, travel to C, back to B, and back to C again. Let go of the calibrate button to save our settings. And there we have it. Let's move on to curve settings. So by default, this fader is set up with a sharp cut curve since it's typically used for scratching. But if you'd like to achieve the slow linear mix fade curve, this is how you do so. Here is our pattern. And once again, we need to start with holding that calibrate button down. Now we're gonna go from B down to A, back down to C, and end off in B. Release the calibrate button to save the settings. Let me send the tone through. And as you can see, we have a nice slow fade. We can also achieve a little bit sharper of a mixed curve if we'd like. Let's hold that calibrate button down, starting at B. We're gonna go down to A, back down to C, and all the way over to A again. Release the button and it'll save. So let's test that. And as you can see, it comes in a little bit sharper. Now getting our curve back to the sharp cut, it is really simple. Hold the calibrate button down. Starting at B, we're gonna travel down to A and end at C. Release it to save. And there you go. Okay, the last setting I wanna show you is the cut and adjustment. This allows you to increase or decrease the lag. So if you wanna get your fader as sharp as possible, this will definitely help. One thing to remember is that it makes very small adjustments, so you might have to hit these patterns multiple times to take effect. So there are two patterns for each side of the fader, one to increase and one to decrease. Let's start by increasing the right side. So here is our pattern. Once again, we're gonna start by holding that calibrate button. We're starting with C, back down to A, and ending at B. Release to save and that will open the cut. Now in order to decrease, we're gonna start by holding down the calibrate button. We're gonna start at C, go down to A, and back down to C. So this one is gonna tighten up that cut. And like I said, you might have to do this multiple times to get that as sharp as possible. So in order to do the left side, the patterns are pretty much just opposite. So to increase, we're gonna hold, starting at A, down to C, and then ending at B. Release to save, and that will increase. To decrease, starting at A, hold, down to C, back to A. Now that will decrease and tighten that cut up. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to email support at RaidenFader.com.